Hi, this is Prithviraj from Bumi Support Team. In this video, we will learn how to debug the GT timeout scenario. In general, when you get a finite two response code, and it is uh, the process is successful in the process reporting page, so you need to uh, go through the container logs, shared server logs. If you have the uh, gateway, then you can also have the gateway logs as well. So the reported error basically is a GT timeout, uh, which is an uh, Java related exception. So this error indicates uh, when the request comes to the booming server and while it is processing and it is taking more the default time of the GT uh, server. So a finer to uh, a status code is being sent and but later when when the execution is completed so it will be updating the status code but uh, by that time the request is already closed so so it will be uh, stating as in 499 so so in the container logs you can see uh, la, the logs as 499 status ha, ha, status 499 handled the uh, execution you can search with respect to the execution id and you can see uh, the gt e, eof exception or uh, gt time dot exceptions and later in the shared server logs you can see 499 uh, with respect to the same execution id uh, and in the gateway logs you can see finer 2 for that particular request so to overcome this you need to increase the default uh, 30 seconds gt timeout uh, value so for that you need to add a maximum ideal time time value uh, with respect to your uh, requirement in the container dot properties of your atom or molecule thank you